Um, so, go. Okay, so thank you very much. That was that was very good. Um, so I uh, I'm a board certified emergency physician. Like I said, this is actually one of my first talks here at DragonCon. I've spoken in Atlanta Skeptics. <sighs> tick tick tick. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm just want to make sure that everyone is aware. I'm still human. I still make mistakes. We all do. And also, I am a doctor, but I'm not your doctor. If you have any specific questions about your med medical issues, please see your physician. Um, the um, guy you see on the screen right there, that's Dwight David, uh, Daniel David Palmer, excuse me. He was born in Ontario, moved to the U.S. in 1865, started doing magnetic healing in Davenport, Iowa, um, and he was one of the big proponents of animal magnetism. The guy you see right there is uh, Harvey Lillard, and he was a janitor who uh, said that he lost his hearing when he felt a kind of a pop in his head, lost his hearing. Palmer believed that after he adjusted a lump in his neck, he restored his hearing. This is B.J. Palmer. He is the son of D.D. Palmer and extended chiropractic into almost what it is today. Now, he was a very colorful character in disdained science, um, believed that it should be straight, uh, let's see, practice pure straight and unadulterated. So the map you see right there, that really is true uh, distribution of nerve signals to the organs, but it fails to mention that a lot of the signal gets disseminated into a sympathetic chain, which actually ends up going to the organs themselves. There's not one nerve that determines the flow to one organ. So chiropractors believe that if they manipulate these uh, uh, subluxations um, and allow the innate intelligence to take over, that they can actually cure organ problems. Now that's a problem, and so some of the other chiro some chiropractors started incorporating scientific uh, understanding of, of muscles' uh, actual function, and um, there was a whole schism. And so they said, well, the subluxations that they talk about, since we actually are not seeing evidence for those in many of the, um, th they say that they are in the x-rays and they're not really there. So it actually means a thing in real medicine. If you see that, dis this, that separation of that bone on that particular picture, that is an unstable injury. If you start adjusting that, you're going to paralyze somebody or worse. So it depends on where that is. You can actually cause a tear to an artery to the brain and cause a huge stroke and actually kill them. And that has happened. Um, these are actually the levels of injury. You will get paralysis uh, if you adjust those, those vertebra at that level. And it's, it's pretty unnerving. So certainly we want to be careful, right? We need evidence. Is that right? We need evidence. So um, is there any evidence? Well, there's a little bit of evidence that they can help in low back pain, but it doesn't really seem to be anything better than uh, what physical therapists would obtain. And in fact, uh, uh, the, the um, um, physical therapists end up being much safer. This is tooth fairy science. This is a Harriet Hall. Uh, I've, I've stolen it blatantly from her. The most recent, there was an article written by a chiropractor in conjunction with another PhD who said that this is that this is not true, that the subluxations don't actually exist. Simon Singh here was actually sued uh, by the British Chiropractic Association for calling chiropractic bogus science. Now, they did eventually drop their suit, but not before he was tens of thousands of pounds in debt. When you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you, all you have is this adjustment subluxation, even if you're moving the goalposts of the definition of what a subluxation is, um, you're gonna end up going down a rabbit hole of erroneous uh, uh, conclusions. This is a physical therapist who's actually doing her patient some good. And um, I encourage everyone to um, look further into ChiroBase, to what's the harm.net. We certainly wanna make sure people aren't involved in techniques that, aren't gonna, uh, that are gonna hurt people. New Mexico has actually given chiropractors permission to prescribe medicines. That is horrifying. They do not have the training, yes. Yes, so um, it is horrifying. I, it, and the problem is practicing legislation um, is not the same thing as practicing medicine. Keep calm, spread the word, tell your friends. When you have a little backache and they say, oh, you should go to a chiropractor, tell them, no, don't go to a chiropractor, don't ever go to a chiropractor. And then direct them to Tim's website. I have personally seen a patient who had paralysis from a subdural hematoma of the, um, epi of the spinal canal. This is, may not be the kind of massage that you would like, but it were, I mean, but massage is so soothing. It feels so good. That's why our cats hang out with us. Just, you know, do that. It's safer. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions, I'll be available later.